Hi everybody, Don Brown here and welcome to Invent Yourself Rich. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a little bit about innovation and about marketing. You know, years ago, Peter Drucker, the business guru, said that in order for a business to succeed, it only really needed two things. It needed innovation and it needed marketing. So what does that really mean? All right, innovation is basically your invention. What is innovative, what's different about your invention? All right, so in order to succeed with any product, it has to be innovative. It has to have something unique and something different. So what I wanna do here is give you a little example of a category, the handheld massagers, all right? There are, you've probably seen them, there are hundreds of massagers. They're all different shapes, those little dolphins, those little spiders, all those little turtles. There's so many different massagers. But there was a woman in California named Myra Perley who wanted to create a really cool massager. And what's unique about this one, again, it has domes similar to all the other massagers, but this one bends and flexes, all right? Now she gave it a really cool name, she called it Knuckles. And when I first experienced this, somebody rubbed my back with it, it felt so good, I was you know, crazy about this massager. So the innovation, what I wanna talk about first, is the bending and flexing. You know, when you rub this on your body, it bends and it flexes, and it feels really good. It feels like a bunch of fingers kneading your back. So that was innovative about this massager over all the other massagers. Most of them were that really, um, you know, the kind of rigid, the ones that push on a bone and it can hurt. Well, this one has like little shock absorbers because it bends. So it feels really good. That was the innovation. Now, she was selling them at a trade show, or not a trade show, but at flea markets and things like that. Stacked like this, and she had um, two of them stacked together. I think she was selling them for $12 or $13. And what we did, uh, when she came to our company, we took the product and put it in a package. And we called it Knuckles, the world's greatest back rub. And just by adding marketing, all right, this is the other half. Remember I talked about innovation? Just by adding marketing, good marketing, a good name, clearly letting the customer know what it is, world's greatest back rub, we were able to sell three million of these things, right? Three million of these knuckle massagers were sold in a period of about two and a half years. So um, it's pretty amazing. And we did it in those mall carts, those fairs, festivals. We did it in a, in a large scale, demonstrating it. And then eventually it ended up in Bed Bath and Walgreens. And you'll still find this in Walgreens and I think um, some of the sporting goods stores um, selling for like $2.99 now for a single one. But we were selling as high as two for $24 because people were buying a feeling. So the point of this whole video is to you know make sure you understand. You need a innovation that's different. So whatever your invention is, whatever you come up with, make sure that it's innovative. It's different than what's currently out there and different enough that people will notice it. Then you need to come up with good marketing, all right? Because you could have the best invention in the world. If people don't know about it, they're never gonna buy it. So by coming up with great packaging, good marketing, that's how you have a home run, a super successful product. Now again, I talk about this in my book in detail. So if you have the book, then you know what I'm talking about. You can learn more of how to do it. But for now, I want you to understand, two things to succeed with your invention. You need to have something that's innovative and you need to market it properly. The combination of the two, then you own that category. You own it, you're first out, you're best dressed. And let me tell you, that's how you sell a lot of product. So you got that? Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Again, um, pay attention to what I teach you because you apply it and you work hard and you too can invent yourself rich.